Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Another episode of Watch and Learn. Now, I did a video on watch crystals a very long time ago, explaining the differences, and then I also kind of told you, gave you a method of how you can tell if it's sapphire or not with the water bead test and stuff, which is kind of cool, but has its own limitations, especially when a crystal has AR on AR on it or or whatever. Um, so testing sapphire crystals, you can can do that test that I had mentioned. You can do, um, you can get like a diamond tester, which is a little probe that you touch to the crystal to watch and it'll come up as like sapphire. Um, you know, obviously it won't come up as diamond, um, but you can see on the scale, it gives you, a, usually they give you a little lit up scale um, from very non-diamond to diamond. And we'll get into what it's doing in a, in a, in a minute. Um, you could scratch it, but who the hell wants to scratch the crystal of a watch to determine what kind of crystal it is? Uh, so the other form of uh, NDT, a non-destructive testing, as we called it in engineering, um, is to test its thermal conductivity, which is what that little diamond tester is doing. If you ever seen people try to check a diamond, it's um, two conductors and they're really close together. And when you touch it to the material, uh, it's measuring thermal conductivity. Thermal conductivity of diamond is extremely, extremely high. Of sapphire, it's very high. Of glass, it stinks. Of acrylic or hesalite, it's virtually nothing. So I saw this trick once. I'll give credit to who I saw the trick from. I don't think he invented it. Uh, Craig Hester, I saw him do this years ago at a watch show. He's the guy behind, um, well, bringing Vostok Europe watches into the USA. Um, you, may know who, you may know who he is. I was talking to him once about a, a watch, and someone asked a question about it, and he takes the watch, and he literally goes like this. He holds it to his forehead, and he goes, oh, that's mineral crystal. It's not sapphire. And I just watched, and I was like, what did he just do? So I talked to him afterwards, and what it basically is is you just need a very sensitive part of your body. I choose my, uh, he chose his forehead, and I will as well keep this rated G. Uh, use your forehead and what I find is easiest is to have a known material beforehand whether you know you have a mineral watch or a sapphire watch in your collection that's your known watch. The key is leave them off your wrist for at least an hour or two to let them come up to room, room temperature because when they're on your wrist they warm up and it's going to mess everything up. By the way you know, I got a new watch dresser, quote unquote, and it holds like 200 watches. So I'm rediscovering all my old watches. This is a Wenger Chrono. And then, believe it or not, I mean, well, don't, not believe it or not, I do have a, a 007 K2 original. Um, I have a bunch of SKXs. So anyway, so what you want to do, I have two, two more watches that I discovered in my watch chest. Uh, I have two Orients. This one's really cool. This is called the Planet Orient. And this one was called uh, Speedster or something. So what you want to do is you just take one of them, take the crystal, hold it to your forehead, and just feel how cold it is. Then take the other one and feel how cold it is. This is sapphire. This thing is like ice compared to this. Um, if this was acrylic, it would it would feel even warmer. So the sapphire one will feel a lot colder against your skin. That's why you got to take them off your wrist because when they're on your wrist, they warm up. Um, and then it kind of throws the whole thing off. But like this, kind of cold, whatever. This, sapphire, this is like literally like an ice cube. Um, and that's it. That's the whole trick. There's really not much to this video other than showing you that cool trick. Like I said, it's kind of tough if you only have one, like if you just have a watch and you're just going to check it. Um, you kind of need a comparison, whether it's the colder one or the warmer one to compare it to. So you know, you know. You know, without having a comparison note, it's kind of tough to feel what something is. So, you know, if you have a watch that you know is sapphire, that can be your baseline. And then if the watch you're testing is warmer, well, then it's not sapphire. Uh, never fails. Doesn't make a difference if it's got AR coating on it. Certainly works. And again, it's a, it's a, good, it's a good party trick, isn't it? Uh, although, who knows? Um, if you do this at a party, you might be looked at weird. Anyway, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com with Watch and Learn for Watch Crystals. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. Questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.